Today on Not Otherwise Specified, we are going to demystify dependent personality disorder. Get ready, here it comes. Theodore Millen is uh, one of the pioneers of personality research, and he has got some basic descriptions of the disorders that uh, we're going to start uh, the show with his description of what dependent personality disorder is. Uh, helpless, incompetent, submissive, immature, uh, withdrawn from adult responsibilities, uh, see themselves as weak or fragile, uh, seek constant reassurance from stronger figures. Uh, they have the need to be taken care of by a person. Uh, they fear being abandoned or separated from important people in their life. And that's, that's Millen's description of, of dependent personality disorder. Dependent personality disorder, pretty straightforward. Um, uh, a, it used to be known as asthenic, asthenic personality disorder, but now they're just calling it dependent personality disorder. Um, again, very straightforward. It's a person who feels helpless, feels helpless and is dependent on other people, lets other people make their life decisions, a uh, very submissive person to the detriment of their own functionality. No one in this world can claim to be an independent person, and I, a lot of people really like to purport themselves to be. I mean, you can be an entrepreneur, okay? Uh, just follow my line of reasoning here. You could be an entrepreneur and own your own business and make tons of money where you are independently wealthy, but that independence came off of the backs of your clients, your workers, you're dependent upon your organization to gather that money and that wealth for you. So independence is kind of an illusion. In a sophisticated society, the only person who's independent is no one. I mean, like the, the people who live in the hills, uh, you know, and hunt, farm for their food, uh, well, that's independence. Uh, but even then, you're dependent upon the animals you're killing to eat and the you know, the vegetables and fruits that you're growing. So really, if if you're a person, like if you're looking at this video because you've gotten a diagnosis of dependent personality disorder, understand, you know, like don't feel a, a spiral of shame over it because everybody's dependent on something. It's just a matter of, you know, there are, there's a certain line at which it becomes a disorder where you, 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 feeling helpless when you're really not and you do have choices in life uh you know i'm certainly i'm i've certainly been a dependent person in many times in my life including this time but uh i'll talk about that in the acknowledgments dependent personality disorder really all you need to know is that it's you know it's it, it's a, uh, a chronic feeling of being dependent upon other people that's, that's what it boils down to. Whether or not it's a disorder is, well, how well are you functioning? Uh, goes for all of the uh, episodes in this series and you know, all 10 diagnoses of personality disorder that you can get uh, from talking with a doctor. Uh, this is not otherwise specified. Get ready, here it comes. I want to thank everybody who has been involved in producing this program, and uh, I, I especially want to thank Spice-Radio.com. Spice-Radio.com. They're an internet radio station right here, uh, based in Huntsville, Alabama, founded by two uh, very, very good uh, gentlemen, uh, Ben Job and Daniel Bullard. Uh, and, uh, and I'm thanking them during this dependent episode because the Second 42 Studios right now is uh, an empty apartment that Daniel Bullard uh, is still renting that I happen to be squatting in at the moment. So, uh, you know, thank you, Spice Radio, for everything that you've done for, for, you know, my presence in Huntsville, Alabama, as well as all of the other artists whose profile you've boosted uh, by running that, that program. Uh, you know, you guys have been instrumental to a lot of people getting a lot of art done, and uh, thank you very much. Um, thanks for tuning into the program. Uh, please hit subscribe. We've got more shows coming out, I bet. 
<laughs> and we're going to talk about mental health. We're also going to be entertaining as well, because that's what I do. Um, you know, hit like, comment in what John Green calls the doobly-doo. I don't like that term. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, watch, uh, watch the rest of the episodes. Let me know what you think.